soul singer and songwriter with a powerhouse voice. You know her hit songs like Don't Want You Back and Set Me Free. And now she's gracing us with her brand new single, Complicated. Please welcome the very talented Leela James. Hey, Leela. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you calling us from? I am actually right now in Atlanta. Okay. Oh, All right, Atlanta. Atlanta. You over there with our girl, Jeannie. Okay. Well, welcome back. And uh, Leela. <laughs> We Hot all know Lana. you as a, exactly. Now we know you as a talented artist, but singing actually was not your first love. So what did you aspire to be when you were younger? Um, I actually wanted to run track. So I think that's what you were oh. referring to. Yes, I was in love with the idea of being a track star and going to the Olympics, being the first African-American female from my neighborhood to just make it, so to speak. But um, yeah, I was just in love with the idea of running. I loved running. I started running when I was six and I just ran as long as I could until I couldn't run anymore. And that's when I started focusing wow. on music. Wow. Oh my wow. gosh. Well, also it was clearly meant to be because you have reached so many people with your music, including Joni Mitchell. In October, she said she was only listening to the music of two artists, Babyface and you. So what was wow. your reaction when you heard that? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was definitely humbled. It's definitely um, an honor when legends, you know, recognize you. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, because you never know who's listening to you, who even cares. So just to know that someone of that level, you know, um, can speak in such a high regard to me and my artistry, I definitely appreciate and I was humbled. That's great. Well, I heard someone very talented was trying to collaborate with you. Give us the details, Leela. Who is it? <laughs> well, I think you're referring to um, the great Stevie Wonder. I had a conversation with him through another friend of That's mine. That's incredible. Um, wow. He put us in contact at the top, top of the pandemic this past year, and he was like, yeah, let's get in and let's do something. But of course, with the pandemic, it's just been kind of challenging to um right. you know schedule and, and and record but we're hopeful we're hopeful that we can get back in the studio and do something yes. and come up with something real special i mean he's you know he's stevie wonder oh my gosh <laughs> that's okay. huge incredible and well deserved you said back in february that you had a roller coaster of emotions about releasing new music why was that well, you know, with everything that's been going on in the in the past mm -hmm. year, you know, with the pandemic and all the uprising, I'm, I, I consider myself an empath. And so that being said, I was I've been really affected by, you know, all the social unrest and things that are happening with my people. Mm -hmm. And it didn't put me in a creative spirit. I just didn't feel like creating. You know, um, I wasn't in the best of moods. I didn't feel um, like I wanted to focus on that part of my life. It was just other yeah. things I felt like I wanted to give attention to. And so I just didn't feel musically creative. I just felt like um, my energy was, you know, in other places. And I had to push through that because at the same time, I know that music is also therapy and mm -hmm. we're not as artists given our gifts to just sit on them. So it, you know, I pushed through it and um, it was right at the, the end of the year, this past year, around the holidays, I was part of the Ma Rainey Project, and um, I just felt like my ancestors fought through so much before me, so I have to continue to fight, too, and, and if part if using my music is a way to fight, then that's what I'm going to do, and so I'm making music for the people, and I'm back. Man, we are so happy you are back, and a little and a little bit later, you're gonna share a performance of your new single, Complicated, and in the music video for the song, we get to see your acting skills. Now, do you want to pursue acting in the future? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Yes, I would love to act. Acting is 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 something that I enjoy as well. Um, you know, music, of course, is my first or shall I say my second love compared to track, but um, acting is up there as well, so um, I'll take it all. That's right. <laughs> all right, Why well, not? your single Complicated is featured on your upcoming new album, but the album is untitled. Why and how do you come up with album titles? Well, you know, it just depends on the project, I think, and, and where you are as an artist at the time. I mean, I think every artist is different. Um, I feel like with your albums, they're like, 
going and making them, it's like the process of carrying a baby for, you know, right. several months. And, you know, sometimes people are, they know right away what they want to name their album, you know, while, while they're pregnant. Then other people just like, well, I'll see when the baby get here, depending on what it look like. Because if it look like Ugmo, I'm going to call it Ugmo. <laughs> <laughs> so it just depends on um, sometimes for me, um, once, you know, I get towards the tail end of the project, how I'm feeling about all the album, all the songs on the album, and then we come yeah. up with the title then. So I'm, I'm close. I'm, I'm, I'm close. I have something, but I don't want to speak on it just yet. Lonnie and Leela. Lonnie and Leela, the Beautiful. two albums. Lonnie and Leela. 